Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. And now, we're gonna actually see what Shadowmar is doing with that egg. The mustache man has been running about town holding an egg-like object. The mustached man is also the primary suspect in the recent kidnapping of Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom. Thank you, thank you, Newsfeed, for telling me everything I need to know about everything ever. Let's spray down this Shadow Mario. That was fast. Done, and I was about to, to ride that Yoshi too. So yeah, we have this Yoshi egg now, and he wants some bananas, so let's go get him some bananas. I don't know where bananas are. Hang on. They're not that far away. We're right next to the... They're right there! Why did I walk the other direction? Anyway, if we bring... Yoshi, his preferred fruit, we will get him out of his egg. So, uh, while we're on Yoshi, we can spray juice, kind of like spraying water, but also we can do a super spin with him, so we can go a little bit higher than that, also there's some bananas even on top of that, and depending on what fruit we eat, Yoshi changes colour. And also, other things change whenever he changes colour as well. Go through all of these different colours. But anyway, let's just head up here, because Yoshi can also use his tongue to eat things. Like birds, for example. And he can also eat this pineapple up here. So let's hop into this pipe. Serena Beach. Episode 1. The Manta Storm. You might recognize this place based on previous looking around from previous levels as well. But anyway, let's get moving. Oh, that's the wrong way. It's not trying to dive that way. Okay, that's better. Oh, please tell me uh, my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta shaped thing showed up. It was this paper-thin floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh the horror, my beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank into the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... Ah! It's back! That gossamer ghoul, do something. So we need to take care of this thing. It is kind of a boss. It will hurt you if you touch it and get too close. And also the electric group it creates is worse than previous groups, because previous groups, you could touch it and then after a while take damage. With this, you just instantly take damage. But anyway, you need to spray the manta ray with water, and then it splits itself. And as you can see, as you keep doing it, it keeps on splitting, going absolutely crazy. A strategy that you can have is standing in water so you have an endless supply of water to use, but just have water supply around the place, so just grab some water and then use your blast spray to just spray everything everywhere, basically. Because you just have so much range and random chance of hitting everything, basically, from one position. And the smaller that that the um, manta rays, the more, or the, well, they, they kind of run away from you if they're really small, so. But now... Again, it, almost all of them are really tiny now. I'm saying almost all because I know that there's got to be one that's still not small. There's still another one somewhere. The bigger ones uh, stay close to you, whereas the small ones run away. But once they're all small, they all come after you at once. So we can spin and spray now to try and maximize spray everywhere. But you can also just still keep splashing 
like the 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 splash blast is just really good. So just keep doing that. Just keep um, right button and B basically. Just look at this. There's so many and they just disappear. Right B, right B, right B. Spray jump, spray jump. And once they're all gone... The hotel returns. So there we go, that's the first taste of Serena Beach. Also, there's going to be a few blue coins we can probably get at later times. I don't think we can get any blue coins at the moment, though. So we do actually have to get this shine to start off. And once you have the first shine in Serena Beach, Yoshi is permanently unlocked everywhere. But Yoshi isn't the only thing we can unlock, unlock right now. So, let's go chase down Shadow Mario now. Even though we just unlocked a level I'd like to actually do. Let's go get him. Where is he? There. I don't think splashing him, like, the big splashing him thing works, so... Okay, come back here Mario, Shadow Mario that is. I'm using up so much of my water trying to do that on him. Get him, this is a good spot to get him. There we go. Right, so now I was uh, just about to Turbo Dash too. So now we actually get to use the Turbo Dash, which is super fun. You might recognize this kind of power if you've played Super Mario Odyssey before. But, if we use it, it charges up and then blasts us forward. And if we hold that down, it keeps going. And if you go on top of water, you go super fast across the water and don't run out of water because they go on top of the water. So you just absorb it instantly. So anyway, you can crash through gates like this to get a blue coin. We can also get that shine that it pointed us at when the cutscene happened. You don't have, even have to be on land to activate it. Even if you're just on the water, you can just activate it and go. It's super fun to just go at full speed like this. And now, things like this, these X's, where they're super far apart, so you wouldn't think we'd be able to get there in time, we can now do with the Turbo Blast. But we still have to go quickly, so. But of course, you don't actually need the Turbo Blast for some of these blue coins, so. I can actually go, like, over here and then spray that down. If I can, please. Just spray that, and then... Oh, don't get in my way, sir. I'm trying to clean up the graffiti, don't you like that? Please, please wash away, please wash away, there we go, so we don't need the Turbo Blast to get that, instead we can just spray a little bit of water in front of us and then dive, and we can still get there in time, so there we go. So we have lots of different things we can do in different ways, so anyway, let's get this shine over here. Just a free shine. Want to point that out. And now, we're still not done. Because now, Shadow Mario's got the rocket nozzle. So if we can get that, get that we can go new places and do new things. And also we'll unlock everywhere, just like the turbo nozzle. So, even if the boxes were grey before and you didn't find a box that was uh, coloured in so you could unlock it. 
Now it's just unlocked, so... That's really good. Let me see if I can get Shadow Mario, please. Get him. Get get him. Get him. Oh, these, he's going to be annoying, isn't he? He's going to be very annoying. He's going to go over here, which is not easy to keep up with and get. Spray, 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 spray. Come on. Please hit him. That's not going to work. Just spray. Is he not going to get hit? He's not going to get hit. Okay, let me get closer so I can get hit by him. I'm trying to get me. Get him. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's try and get him now. Okay, he's just... There we go. Shoot, and I was just about to rocket jump to. So now we've got the... The, the rocket nozzle just unlocked everywhere. So yeah. And now if we go on top of the lighthouse and then ground pound way up in the air, we can ground pound that block and break it. You have to have the the red fire basically underneath your ground pound to actually know that you can do it. So yeah, everything's unlocked now. So we can do a lot of things now. We can do pretty much everything now. Actually we can. We've unlocked everything we need to get everything. So yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to get a few more things around town first though, I think. Maybe. Now I kind of want to go into Serena Beach again. So let's go ahead and do that. Can I just like get up there from here somewhat? I guess I can. Yeah, I, I can get up to this platform here. Okay, let's hop in. The Hotel Lobby s Secret. And so the cutscene of this level is just going to be the hotel from now on, by the way. I'm pretty sure it doesn't change ever from this point on, so... Let me quickly go over this way. Because there's a blue coin way out this way. And I want to get that. Hello, blue coin. Now, I believe there's a few other blue coins we can get out here now that we don't have to worry about the manta ray. Everything. Let's go do that. There are probably better times to get them though, but I'm I'm just gonna get them. So why not? Let's spray this to get a blue coin. Spray this. No, that's not a blue coin. Definitely not a blue coin. Uh, I believe in one of these. Those are blue. Those no. Those are yellow, gold. I know the difference. Uh, here, yes. One of these is a blue coin. If we go over here and spray these flowers, blue coin. Uh, I believe if we spray some of these fires, well, some of them will give. They will give us coins anyway. So. Ah, don't go in the fire, Mario. Spray those, no. Spray those, no. Come on, I, kn I know that one of them is going to have a blue coin. Thank you. Okay, and now... Let's go back this way. And if we... Go up here, there's a blue coin up here as well. So let's grab that and save. I think that's all the ones outside we can get for the moment. There are still more, but... Oh, actually, no. If I spray one of these fires, I believe, up here... I believe one of them does actually have another blue coin for me. Please? No? Okay, those are just regular coins. So let's talk to this guy and go in. Uh, hey, um, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I, uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See, the hotel, it's, well, it's, it's full of, it's full of ghosts. So it's like we just mentioned three now. So, well, could you maybe look? Just come inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be modest. I'll get my brother onto it. He can do everything for you. Now, do these have blue points for me, is the question. 
now that we're inside the hotel. There's a lot of booze around here. Um... I don't even need to put these fires out, I just need to get the coin to pop out properly. There we go. So these boos, we can jump on them to defeat them. Uh, but some of them are a different colour, so let's spray them and they become platforms. They are all platforms for me to walk on. Um, ow. Also some coins like this one here are booze just pretending to be coins so you have to be careful about that now let's just keep going up I think up to its that the, the top of this pillar here which is a boo and its mouth is just ow pain its mouth is pain is a, a hole to go into and of course it's a secret so let's see how this goes Oh, hey, this is cool. Oh, this level is gonna be fun. Oh, so much fun. So fun. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see how well I can do this. Ah, uh, bounce. Wall jump. I don't know why I wall jumped, but that's okay. Let's break this one. And then if I can wall jump out of here. Thank you. Now we need to bounce off these enemies to progress. Please bounce, thank you. This bit here is a little bit annoying because you have to keep wall jumping to break these blocks, but as soon as you break a block, it just sends you straight back down, which is kind of annoying. We've also got these square watermelon blocks that we can break by ground pounding on them. So we have blocks that we can be, like the brick blocks you can be underneath to break. You can't ground pound them, I'm pretty sure. And then the melon blocks you can break by ground pounding on them. So there's a way to go up and down, depending on the type of the block. Anyway, let me see if I can get across here without dying. Easier said than done. Okay, we're across now. So let's go down here. Actually, no, let's go up. Stay up really, really quick. Let's ground pound through these. Because I believe after getting through those, we get a one-up, so. Anyway, now we need to get across here without falling off. Easier said than done. As I nearly slide off. <gasps> oh, jump, 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 jump. Please get to the end. Thank you. Let's grab the shine. Okay, let's head back in because there's definitely more I can do there. That doesn't involve going two steps in and then having to get the shine instantly, basically. We haven't seen much of the hotel so far, just the lobby, basically. Mysterious Hotel Delfino. This is an interesting one, this, this particular shine. There's a way to glitch to it, but I don't... I, I don't know how to glitch into it. And if I tried, I probably wouldn't be able to do it, so. So for now, let's just get moving and head in. Hello. Ah, dear Mario, please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Come now, don't dawdle. So now we get to actually see this place how it's supposed to be. And Yoshi wants a pineapple. Well, it's nice to know that um, there's this fruit bar over here, except there's no pineapple here. So we're going to have to look elsewhere for... Um, what's it called? Um, a pineapple. Also, I was just in the girls' toilets. And it's fine, because it's just a video game. <laughs> um... Also need to find blue coins I can find around the place. I believe if I spray this, no. There's a lot of things that are re like reused objects which I need to check. So I can spray these door painting things. 
for something sometimes. And I think some of them have blue coins, but I don't know which ones, and they're probably on the top floor, because we haven't explored the top floor much yet, uh, either. Okay, nothing so far. Okay, let's go up a floor. Also, I believe some of the doors we can open, but not all of them. Let's go upstairs. Ow. Spray some of these. Just a coin. Also, I believe if we spray that there, we get a coin from that, a blue coin. And we can see the shrine we need to get from here. I believe it involves, ha like, ha holding onto a banana and then backflip and dropping it somehow. But I don't know how to do that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I might try it, just to see if I can get in. But I should probably try getting in the normal way first. Okay. Any of these want to give me... something good? Or is, are these literally just old coins? I think they're all just normal coins. This lamp over here, however, I'm positive has a blue coin in it. Okay, this door is open so we can go in here. Can bounce up to the next level. Hello. It's all these ghosts. Uh, all these ghosts are causing such trouble. They're everywhere. Why can't someone come along and suck them up with a vacuum? Subtle reference. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because you just made a reference to Luigi's Mansion, obviously. So we can't get through these boos. Ow. For obvious reasons. Uh, but we can navigate around this maze, I guess. And get this blue coin up here. And I think all of these pathways lead to, like, back in the middle room. So we can't actually get anywhere from up here, unfortunately. If you go into first person, though, you can actually see that there's a ceiling here. Which is interesting. But yeah, that, that took us nowhere. And this door doesn't work to get into the- Actually, what? Have I been lied to? Oh, because this guy's here in the way. Hey you, no one in the, uh, in the pool without proper swimwear. Okay, so I can't get in, is what he's saying. I think though, I can ground pound here. And I'm in a different place. Probably fine. Hang on, let me just quickly head back upstairs into that one room. Because I think there's something up there for me anyway. Uh, if I spray something, probably not that, probably the bookshelf. Nope. Okay, so there, there, there isn't anything there. There's also another way to get into that secret room there, I believe. So let's head down to the bottom floor and go into the toilets over here. Do you have something to say? I'm, I'm going to guess you have something to say, right? I lost it when I heard this was a four-star resort. I mean, come on. Water damage in the restrooms? That's, that is so low class. Water damage? Oh, there is water damage. Well, if we jump here, we actually see why. That's because we un end up in this room that we are in uh, before. I get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting. But you want to know what I find even creepier than that? Imagining how you got in here. <laughs> that is true. I did just come through the... From the toilets, through the bathtub. Or through the ceiling. Okay. What's oh, so there's a hole up there. Is that just... Is that just... Okay, that's just back in here. Cool. But anyway, this painting here... Kind of looks like a boo. And if we sp spray water, has the boo in the middle become more visible. There's an outline of a boo in there. But anyway, we can go through that painting now, which is a mirror in somebody else's room. That's actually kind of cool, though. Having a mirror there. Very cool. And now, we need to figure out where I'm going. Um, oh, there's booze in here. Ow. Let me take out these booze. And also see that there's... Take that! 
take that. Just fling myself in a random direction, get both of them. Uh, this, this wardrobe thing here, if we spray it, these panels flip over. And the, it's very hard to not accidentally spray the wrong panel. Oh, please. Oh, please. I beg you. Okay. Okay. No, not yet. Not that one. Okay, good. Making a boo by flipping them all over perfectly. I should probably actually check what the people were saying, right? Hello, sir. I want to talk to you. So suddenly a ghost came out of the closet. Eek! Oh, okay. I mean, it's not that scary. I jumped into them randomly and killed them. <laughs> Do something about these ghosts! And get out of my room, you weirdo! Okay, fine. I will get out of here. Once I spray these ghosts and use them as platforms. It's a metaphor. Trust me. Oh, come on. Get up there, please. So I can go through the hole in the roof. I can't see. Okay, I might actually need to m move them. Once they... Because they do have a timer on how long they stay as blocks. So if I can get them into a better position... That would be good. There, maybe? I don't know. I can't really see where it aligns. Okay, up through there. And now we're in somebody else's bedroom, of course. Uh, I... Hello. Wait a minute! Where did you come from? I'm calling for help. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. I'm, I'm fine. I can also spray through this bookshelf to get in here. And I believe that in here, somewhere, is blue coin. Uh, any other blue coins? Or just regular coins? I think they're just regular coins. Anyway, let's talk to you. Now, where did I put that thing? Have you seen a pineapple anywhere around here? No, I just see this boo painting that I can spray to get through. There's a blue coin here. And now... Oh, that boo got me. He fooled me. I don't think there's any secrets here that I can have to worry about, so I'm gonna just go back through here. But obviously we can see that this floor panel we can go through, so let's go through that. And down here... Here's the pineapple he was looking for. But also, Yoshi was looking for a pineapple as well. So this is this has all been to get Yoshi, basically. Sorry, if I can, can I get rid of you? I want to check some of these boxes for stuff. Okay, no, nothing else here. So I think now, we can go through a door carrying a pineapple. And we can take it to Yoshi. Oh, that was a lot of work. <sighs> okay, now let's head up to places that we've already been now. Since we can. Goodbye. This is a long way to go for stuff. And if I can get up here, please. I want to get back into the room where I got the pineapple from. Also, uh, slowly, Yoshi's juice will go down, and once Yoshi's juice goes all the way to empty, Yoshi just goes. Yoshi just leaves forever. Not forever, but, you know. Anyway, another blue coin. Can I actually go through a door with Yoshi? Oh, I can't, can I? I don't think I can. Well, I can get rid of Yoshi and then use a pineapple to get back through. Otherwise, can I just... Hang on. I want to see if I can go back up here. Yep, cool. Skill. I call skill. Uh, actually, how do I get to where I need to go? Hang on, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm going down this way? Actually, I don't think I was meant to go through here at all. So that's fine. Oh, we actually go through the painting thing. Now, there's a, a hole up here, so if I can manage to get that, wherever the hole is. Where is it? Can I actually go back through that hole? I don't know if I can. I might not be able to go through back, back through the hole. I can go up this hole, though. 
Oh. And then... Oh, I don't think I can go any higher than this, though, can I? No, I have to go back down. So let's head all the way back down. Can I actually... I don't think I can go back down. Nope, I can't. Cool. None of the doors are open for me to get out, either. Ah, great. Just what I needed. Time to head back up, then. There we go. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Yoshi. How do I get off of Yoshi? I don't know how to get off of Yoshi. Is it just ZL? I can also just blast a lot of juice. I don't know how to get off of Yoshi. How do I get off of Yoshi? Is there a... Uh, no, not the map button. Not ground pound. Okay, X. You press X while on Yoshi. I'm gonna grab another pineapple and head back down. But I wanted to get rid of that ghost so I could get that blue coin. This is the main reason I got Yoshi. So now, let's go back to Yoshi again. Once he respawns. After a while of not being with Yoshi, he does disappear and respawn as an egg. A while. Am I in the way? No. He's just not respawning. Is this concernment? Yoshi. Yashi. Yoshi. Come back to me. Please. Uh, concern, in, concern is everything. Did I leave Yoshi somewhere he could get fruit? Because if you leave Yoshi next to some fruit... Nope, okay. If you leave Yoshi next to some fruit when he's idle, he will keep eating the fruit, so that's cool. You can keep him alive that way. Don't go up that way. Go up the stairs. So, if we take Yoshi all the way up to the top floor, and then go through the open door, that's why it's open, we can hop through here, and we can eat these ghosts now, so we can get to places we couldn't before. So I'm going to eat, eat that if I can. I think some of these boos might actually have blue coins for us. Well, so I need to figure out where the shine is down here, or up here. Which is difficult. But I can probably use the sound of the, the shine to guess how close I am to it. <laughs> the ghosts make a strange noise when you eat them. Uh, is it this one over this way? I hope so. No. It must be the other one? I want to make sure I go down the correct hole so I actually end up where the, the shine is. So, this way... This way... Ow! Don't, don't, don't mess with me. So it... Is it here? No, it can't be. Oh, no. Not again. Not again. I want to go through the door. Let me go through the door. I just popped through the door! Can I go back in there? No, I cannot. I can't go back through this door, can I? I wonder if that's a normal glitch to have happen. Anyway, I have to go back for the pineapple now. <laughs> because I went down the wrong way. Hello, <laughs> hello, Yoshi. Um, although I could try the banana trick. Just because I can't, I don't want to figure out which way to go. Can I not grab? I can grab this, right? Maybe if I spray it away and then go grab it. Yeah. So, how do I do this glitch? It's probably not that hard to do. Considering I already glitched through one wall with Yoshi. I mean, how hard can glitching through a wall be? So, kind of stand against the wall and then... Hang on, how do I backflip with a banana? Not by pressing the map button. Okay, like that, by pressing R and B. Back up against the wall. 
Okay, that was a good attempt. But I think I need to be up against one of these little pillar things. Not the map! Stop with the map, me. Okay, so... I... Backflip and... Toss. I don't think I want to be moving in any direction, though. No, come on. Okay, turn around like that. I think I need to be a little bit more against the wall than that. Okay. Here we go. Attempt number who knows what by this point. Um, which button do I press? That one. Okay, and then hold it down. Straight down, please. Straight away from the wall. I, I don't know which way I'm turning. Okay, that let's go with that. Nope, that's not the right angle. It's so hard to know which angle I need. Ah, uh, please. Nope, almost though. I don't actually know how to do this. Please. There we go. So yeah, instead of just going up into the attic and then pressing the correct, or ground panning on the correct panel thing, you can just glitch in as well, so. But I would recommend doing it the actual way because that's the way it was intended. I kind of did both, but I lost Yoshi because I went the wrong way. But anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.